You know that that Marcus Waltz is amazing. It, it was like I, I, I wasn't going to put that on my album, and and uh, and Billy Connolly was up in Shetland at the time, and he, and he came along to the recording thing, and, and I was playing it for him. And he said, you, "You have to put that on the album." And but for him, I wouldn't have put it on the album because I, I thought it was a bit sort of mushy and that. But it's the nearest thing that I had to have ever played it. ever go back to Shetland to live? No, I don't think so. I go back and stay a lot, but I don't think you can ever go back anywhere. I think I think your home is where where your kids are. And, and uh, no, but I'll go back a lot and fish in that. And if I went back there, it would be it would be like you know, like joining the ship I'd left years before, but a nice ship. Since my mother and father died, I don't have the same feel to go back as I used to. But all my friends are still there. You know, all the people I went to school with, and you know, by you know, plays the piano and drew and all. And and I have a sister there as well. So so it's nice to go back and see them. But I think the Shetland concert this year in the Clickerman was. It's the one that always always bothers me because I don't like the place to play in because it's a sports centre in it. And, uh, but it was full up and it was a great night. Am I right? Yes, right. We went out to buy a loaf of bread at 10 o'clock in the morning and we never got home until quarter to 12 at night because people stop him every five feet on the, on the street, you know. Oh, Ali, I mind the time when you did that. You <laughs> We were out there considering putting a bag over his head <laughs> to lead him through the streets. You know. <laughs> Doctor Ali Bain, MBE. <laughs> Shut up. Well, that's us. Here we are again. Ah, Brody Castle for the... God knows how many times I've played I think, I think it's the fourth time. The fourth time, yeah. They've shifted the marquee from where they normally have it. Yeah, it's over, it's over there behind us. We should go and rustle somebody up and get some soup. The obligatory tea and scones. <laughs> and uh, then we'll, we'll do a sound check. Right, it'll. Cool. <laughs> You're in my way. <laughs> <laughs> In this kind of dressing room, you kind of half expect to be in here with livestock. I'm feeling a hell of a 
nervous and very stiff about this whole. <laughs> That's really nice, that, what you're playing. It's really relaxing. I find this kind of noise that Ali makes all the time before you go on, I find it really relaxing. It helps him uh, to relax, but it puts me on edge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not edgy. Yeah, which is the one you really like, is it? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I tell you about Fergie coming home, having been in Fort William <laughs> and reading a book called The Joys of Sex. And he came home and he said to his wife Maureen, he said, Mo, I've been up in Fort William and uh, reading a book called The Joy of Sex, Mo. And I uh, found a great new position called The Wheelbarrow, Mo. <laughs> Maury said, the wheelbarrow, Fergie. He says, what the hell's that? Well, Mo, remember at school, I would <coughs> hold you by the ankles and you would go along on your hands. Well, it's, it's like that, Mo. She says, right, Fergie, we'll try it on two conditions. She said, one, if it hurts my back, I want to stop right away. Fair enough, Mo. She said, and secondly, I don't want to go past my mother. Another musical interlude, here we go. <laughs> I have a, a tape of Fergie counting his band in, and he does it in Cali. In ga. Three. And they all start at different times. Bang, bang, bang. And you hear Fergie in the background saying, Well, shit. Is a bloody cheat, isn't it? You don't hit me, you love me. How could you win with a guy like that? I try my best, honestly, to have done my life. And he's been cheating me for years, I know it. Who looks after the money, the takings? Me. <laughs>